in this module we consider the relative comparison of two competitive tests through asymptotic methods actually if the two tests are consistent then we cannot use the exact results that are available in the literature and when we use fixed alternative we cannot use such results the regularity conditions are numbered by a1 a2 a3 etc first regularity condition suppose theta not belongs to omega not and theta belongs to omega a are such that theta greater than theta not then we take theta n is equal to theta not plus b by root n where b is positive so that theta n belongs to omega n for all n and theta n tends to theta not belonging to omega not as n tends to infinity suppose there exist mu function of theta under tn and sigma function of theta under tn positive and this is positive such that under theta not tn minus mu theta not under tn divided by sigma theta not under tn that goes to the dist some distribution of w some distribution of w and under theta n tn minus mu theta n of tn divided by sigma theta n of tn converges to the sum distribution same as w where w has some known continuous distribution with with distribution function h w is equal to probability that w less than is equal to small w in particular w can be taken as normal 0 1 distribution now assumption 3 derivative first derivative of mu t n theta with respect to theta exist and is non zero and is continuous in the neighborhood of theta naught assumption a4 there exist a positive constant d such that 1 by root n into mu prime t n theta naught divided by sigma t n theta naught is equal to d with mu prime t n theta naught is equal to derivative of mu t n theta with respect to theta at theta is equal to theta naught and assumption 5 limit n tending towards infinity sigma t n of theta n and divided by sigma t n of theta n theta naught is equal to 1 next we get a result under the above as, as, as assumptions the asymptotic power ap of, of a test is probability that w greater than small w alpha minus bd where w alpha is such that probability measure of w greater than w alpha is equal to alpha proof of this result since phi n is asymptotically size alpha we get alpha is equal to limit n tending towards infinity that probability under theta naught of tn greater than cn which after some manipulation gives the using the assumption a1 probability that w greater than w alpha and where w alpha is such that h w alpha is equal to 1 minus alpha thus we get cn minus mu tn theta naught divided by sigma tn theta naught tending towards w alpha as n tends to infinity now ap of phi n against theta n is given by ap is equal to limit n tending towards infinity probability that tn greater than cn under theta n is same as that probability um, of tn minus mu tn theta n by sigma tn theta n greater than cn minus mu tn theta n divided by sigma tn theta n under theta n and since cn minus mu tn theta n divided by sigma tn theta n after some algebraic manipulation goes to w alpha minus bd as n tends to infinity using assumptions a3 uh, to a5 and a1 and the equation star we have ap is equal to probability that w greater than w alpha minus bd and hence the proof is complete it is what to mention that this ap belongs to alpha 1
open interval. Now we consider the testing problem uh, H naught theta belongs to omega naught against H A that theta belongs to omega A for getting asymptotic relative efficiency uh, and its definition. Suppose uh, we have two tests phi n1 based on t1n and phi n2 based on t2n. Both the tests are assumed to be right tailed and asymptotically psi alpha. Let kn and k prime n be two sequence of positive integers such that both kn and k prime n are increasing in n and as n tends to infinity kn and k prime n tending tends to infinity. Again these sequences are such that power of the test under theta n of pi 1 n and the power of the test of phi 2 n are both lying in the open interval alpha 1. Then ARE of phi n 1 relative to phi n 2 is defined by ARE of 1 relative to 2 is limit n tending towards infinity k prime n divided by k n provided the limit exists and is independent of the sequences k n and k prime n satisfying uh, the requirement given above. Thus ARE is the limit of the ratio of the sample sizes required to reach the same limiting power against the identical sequence of alternatives for test with respect to the same limiting significance levels. The ARE is equal to 2 means that we need approximately twice as many observations for test 2 as compared to test 1 to reach the same limiting power for the same sequence of alternatives. Naturally, test 1 is better or worse than test 2 in the limit according to ARE is greater or less than 1. Next, we come to the determination of asymptotic relative efficiency. Uh, this, um, However, the definition of ARE as given above is not enough to compare in practice. Thus, we need some equivalent expression so that the efficiency can be evaluated easily. The following result gives an equivalent expression of ARE. If uh, the test phi n1 and phi n2 satisfy the regularity conditions as given earlier, the regularity conditions are given in the form of A1 up to A5. Then ARE of the test 1 relative to 2 is defined by limit n tending towards infinity of 1 by root n of mu prime T1 n theta n divided by sigma T n theta naught whole square divided by limit n t tending towards infinity 1 by root n mu T n prime theta naught divided by mu sigma T n of theta naught whole square. From the definition of sequences k n and k prime n, we have probability that T 1 k n greater than C 1 k n under theta n and probability that T 2 k prime n greater than C 2 k prime n probability under theta n that two probability has the same limit as n tending towards infinity. Since phi n1 and phi n2 satisfy the regularity conditions a1 to a5, these two limits are nothing but their APs. For example, the limit of probability under theta n of T1 k n greater than C 1 k n is, is the asymptotic power of phi n 1. Then we have from result 1 that limit of P theta n of T 1 k n greater than C 1 k n is equal to probability that W greater than W alpha minus B D 1. Similarly, phi n 2 we get the expression of A P as probability that W greater than W alpha minus B D 2. Thus, we require Kn and K prime n to satisfy that the limits of the two are equal. That means we have limit after some 
some simplification limit n tending towards infinity k prime n divided by k n is equal to the required result as given in the statement of the result 2. This completes the proof. Next we get an a remark. From the expression of ARE, we observe that under the regularity conditions, the ARE can be interpreted as the ratio of two efficacy measures where the efficacy of the test based on Tn is defined as limit n tending towards infinity of 1 by root n mu Tn prime theta naught divided by sigma Tn of theta naught whole square. Next we get a remark. The expression of ERE remains valid even if in the alternative is two sided. The ERE does not depend on alpha and beta so long as the regularity conditions are satisfied. Thus, unlike fixed sample efficacy, the ERE does not suffer the disadvantages. Now, we get some examples. We consider uh, some testing problems. Suppose XI i from 1 to n are iid observations from fx minus theta where theta is the location parameter and fx plus f of minus x is equal to 1 that means uh, a, the distribution function is symmetric about 0 when theta is equal to 0. Consider the testing of theta is equal to 0 against the alternative theta greater than 0. Now for this testing problem we have uh, three types of tests. One is based on T1n is equal to root over n x bar by Sn, which rejects the null hypothesis that, uh, that theta is equal to 0 against theta greater than 0 when T1 is greater than C1n, where n minus 1 Sn square is equal to summation xi minus x bar whole square and x bar is the sample mean. And we have another test. Uh, which is called sign test, the st uh, test statistic is defined by T2n is equal to 1 by n summation i xi greater than 0 where i is the indicator function and the test rejects h not against h a if T2n is greater than C2n. Next we get test 3 which is Wilcoxon signed rank test and that is based on the statistic T3n is equal to uh, summation i less than 0, j of capital I xi by xi plus xj divided by 2 greater than 0 divided by nc2 which rejects the null hypothesis if t3n greater than c3n. Now consider the sequence of local alternatives theta n is equal to b by root n and assume that variance of the distribution function is finite. First of all we verify the condition a2 to a5 since sn converges to sigma in probability root over n x bar by sn and root over n x bar by sigma have the same asymptotic distribution. Thus, this suggests to define mu t1 n theta is equal to root n theta by sigma and sigma t1 n theta is equal to 1. Then condition a 3 to a 5 are all satisfied with d1 is equal to sigma to the power minus 1. Now by applying central limit theorem, uh, we get t1 n minus mu t1 n theta sigma t n theta converges to normal 0 1 in distribution under both theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to theta n. Thus, a2 is also satisfied. Hence, the efficacy of the test 1 is e t 1 n after some computations is sigma to the power minus 2. Next, considering sign test statistics, we find that t2 n minus f theta divided by root over f theta into 1 minus f theta divided by n converges to normal 0 1 in distribution by de Moivre Laplace limit theorem under both the under both theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to theta n and next defining mu t 2 n theta is equal to f theta and sigma t 2 n theta is equal to f theta into 1 minus theta by n under root we can satisfy the conditions a2 to a5 and uh, these are all satisfied with d2 is equal to twice of small f0 where fx is equal to dfx by dx exists at all x and continuous with f0 greater than 0. Hence the efficacy of the test 2 is defined by 4 f0 square under at 0. And finally 
we can compare different pairs of tests using ARE. First of all, consider comparison of sign test with respect to t test statistics. The ARE is given by 4 sigma square into f square 0. Naturally, ARE depends on the underlying density f. Thus, we provide below the expressions cons corresponding to different distributions. The table below gives the results for some specific distributions. For example, uh, when f x is equal to normal 0 1, A R E gives uh, 2 by pi that is equal to 0 0.64. Similarly, for logistic 0 1 distribution, we get uh, A R E is equal to 0 0.82. For double exponential distribution, it is 2.0. For rectangular minus 1 to plus 1 distribution, it is 0 0.33. For Cauchy 0 1 distribution, it is infinity. Thus, we observe that the sign test is always less efficient than the t statistic, t, t statistic based test except for double exponential distribution. Roughly speaking, for normal parents, we would require 36 percent less observations for t test compared to sign test to get the same, same performance. The, this is not unexpected as the sign test uses only the information about the signs of the differences. However, for heavy tail distribution like double exponential, the quality of information used by the sign test is improved and hence becomes twice as efficient as the test based on T statistics. This shows that T statistic based test is no longer desired for double exponential distribution. For information, we note that within the class of all continuous unimodal symmetric densities, ARE of sign test relative to T cannot be lower than one third. For this, one can consult the book by Hodges and Lohmann um, for details. From the above table, we find that only the distribution attaining the lower bound is rectangular minus 1 to plus 1 distribution. Next, we co next considering, uh, considering Wilcoxon sign rank test and the test based on T statistic, we have ARE of sign rank test relative to T is 12 sigma square into uh, integral f square x dx whole square. As before, we can also obtain a table for different uh, density functions and these are given in, in the form of table in the form of table 2 comparing sign test relative to test based on t. And finally, we can obtain ARE of sign test relative to sign rank test and this is also given in the form of a table as given earlier. We have shown that asymptotic power of each test under fixed alternative is unity. So, we are not able to compare those tests and to compare those tests we have used sequence of local alternatives for which the asymptotic powers belong to the open interval 0, 1. In fact, it lies between alpha and 1 and finally, we compare those tests from those asymptotic results.